Hi my sweet friends, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing some crafts together. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is take our mesh and we're going to cut it around five centimeters wide. It doesn't need to be cut perfect. It can be a little bit off, it's not a big deal. You could do multiple colors if you want at a time. I just choose to do it this way, it's easier. So I'm just gonna cut all the mesh. I also have a garbage bag which I will be sticking them all in so that they're not getting kicked around all around because they do shed and they are messy and it is going to be one big cleanup at the end. So. I'm just going to cut a bunch of pieces. I have no idea how many pieces I'm going to need. I'm also going to alterate the colors. So I'm going to be cutting different colors in the same size. So I'm going to do that offline and then I'll be back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm making the bundles. Now this time I'm, you could do them two ways. You could roll them this way just the way that they're rolled now and then clip them or you could roll them a little bit diagonal and this time I'm going to roll them a little bit diagonal. If you want to see the other way I do have an Easter wreath that I did and you could rewatch that. So I'm just going to roll that one and grab one of these greens and roll it. A little bit diagonal. There's the second one. We're going to make like a crisscross. And then I have one of these. And this is super soft. And I'm just going to roll this one diagonal. Just like that. And I'm going to clip it there. I'm going to take one of my I'm just reaching for one of my zip ties. I'm going to take one of my zip ties and I'm going to go underneath them all and slide the bottom through till it catches and then just push it down. So you want to just kind of sort of play with them, put them where you want them and then just pull your zip tie tight. And I'm just going to pull it close to me for just a second and get the zip tie started. Then you're just going to pull the zip tie tight like that. And then you're going to bend them up. And they'll bend up once you put them on the carrot anyways. And then I have my cutters here. And you're just going to snip off the bottom and leave it like that and make more bundles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bunches and we're going to put another zip tie but we're going to put it underneath the one we have on there now. So you're just going to work it under the one that's there. Just like that. So it looks like a cross. Just like that. And I have some done already. And they're all ready to go. Here's one that needs one. So you just take your zip tie you make sure that you have it the right way and then you just push it underneath the zip tie that you have in your bunch and just pull it through just like that and once you have all your bunches done you will get your carrot and I'm going to do up along here 
the top of the carrot. So to start it, I'll flip the carrot over and I'm just going to put your Ziploc through, get it started, pull it tight, slide it down, and take your scissors or your clippers and just snip off your excess. And get the next one and do the same thing it down feed it on pull it tight slide it down and clip your excess off just like that got another one And you're just going to go around the top of your carrot with these. And this is how it looks so far. It looks full. And then you can play around with your cones and make them go different directions or whatnot whatever way you want so I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna put all the top on and then I'll be back so now I have all the bunches on there I had 22 bunches in total for the top and all you have to do is just move them along like pretty much five five and then just move them all through here just to fill it in you know and then this is how it looks on this side so that's the top of the carrot i think it's super cute so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the bottom of the carrot so i'm going to use these two colors yellow and orange for the bottom of the carrot and i'm going to cut them and see how much bundles we get and then i will be back to make the difference of how much I have, because I don't have enough of the other yellow and orange, I'm going to use this yellow. This one is from Dollar Rama, and it's going to be the same uh, size as the rest of everything else I cut tonight. It's going to be five inches, and I'm just going to keep cutting and make up more squares so and then I'm gonna put them together and I feel if I feel like it's not enough or it needs to be more poofy or something I do have the white so I also can can use the white even if I go around it around in white I'm not sure I haven't quite decided I'm just gonna put it together and we'll see how it looks at the end so Stay tuned. What I'm going to do, I have my squares cut. I have more yellow over there. But I'm just going to, how it's curled, I'm just going to roll it straight like that. And I'm going to squeeze in the middle and hold it. I'm going to grab another color. I'm going to roll it long ways like that grab it and squeeze it together and I'm going to grab a yellow this yellow and roll it I'm going to see how thick they are if they're not thick enough I might just go ahead and cut the white also so we'll see here in a second I think they're okay so that will be the one bundle oops and then you take your zippy tie and you put it through, put it down on the table, get it started, pull, 
and there is your bundle there you have your little cutty tool and you'll cut off your excess of your zip tie just like that and there's one bundle and I'm going to make all the bundles now and then I'll be back okay so now what we're at is the next step I've got all my bundles put together so we're gonna take one of our zip ties again and go in the back of your make sure we have the zip tie the right way underneath the zip tie you have there already and push it through just like that so it looks like this so it's ready to go on to the carrot we'll do it again we have a zip tie right here we're going to go on to the back we're going to slide the zip tie underneath just like that all the way through so it looks like this so that again is ready for the carrot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the bundles ready and then I'll be back I have all my bundles together so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the green up a little out of the way there is two rows here on the carrot. The carrot is upside down because I find it easier to work upside down. So I'm going to strap this one down over the two. Pull it tight. Have a look see. Okay. So there's one. And then we're going to do another underneath. Right there. Oops, we're losing our. There, okay. I put another one here. Get it started. Pull it tight. So there's two three, four, so we'll do four for sure. Here's another one ready. Just kind of move everybody out of the way in here and do another one. Flip it down as tight as I can. So there's that one. One more. This one is ready, so we're going to put this one here. Slide it in. Move the green out of the way. Get it started. Pull it tight. Make sure it's in the middle. Pull it tight. So that's how I have it right now. I'm just going to take off the excess. One. Two. Three. And four so that's what the back looks like so I did these two I'll probably do I'm not sure yet but so there's how it looks on the front so I think that's pretty good so I'll probably go from here to here the next row and then the next row and then the next row so I'm just going to continue and then I will be back so I got the back done now and if you see 
I went every second row. And then when it came to the bottom, I just made a row here so I could do one down here. You can pause it and, and slow it down if you want to see exactly what I did. And then I just added three singles down at the very, very bottom. So this is completely done. And then we're going to flip it over and show you. This is how it looks. It's quite big, fluffy. So what I have left to do is I have some glittery carrots. They came from Dollarama. And I also have some Easter eggs. Glitter Easter eggs. And I'm just going to throw a couple on here just to decorate it a little. And then we're going to call it done. So I have some glue here. Just some white glue that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put some glue on an egg. And I'm just going to stick the Easter egg right in there. That one. I have a pretty blue one. Just make sure we get the good side up. I put an egg over here. I have a pink egg. And I'm just putting a little glue on it, that's all. And then just sticking it right onto the reef like that. I'm gonna put some carrots. And these carrots I've used a few times over the Easter break here on different projects. So I think they're really cute. They're glittery. So I'm just putting them anywhere. You could do whatever you want. There's no right or wrong. And I'm probably just going to use up the rest of these carrots because it is a carrot that we did. So I'm just sticking them anywhere and everywhere. Just to make it cute. got two left last one I'm gonna put it up here and maybe we will do a bright yellow egg in here just like that okay so I think it's super cute I'm gonna take a picture of it hanging and thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe please hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do an upload and I'll see you on the next video bye everyone